What's up everybody? Bowtie SoFly coming at you for the Division Survival Mode. So, this is a game I've been playing a little bit more recently. Yes, I know the Division is old. I bought it when it originally came out, sold it back, bought it again because I wanted to do Survival. And Survival's actually been a ton of fun. It has allowed me to upgrade a lot of my equipment very, very quickly. So, just a quick overview of my stats. I am nothing amazing. I'll flat out admit that. So, for anyone that wants to leave a dislike on the video saying, Oh, you suck. I know. I do. But here's the armor that I'm rocking. Uh, I've got Final Measure Vest and Final Measure Gloves, so I'm getting 25% uh, exotic damage resilience. Uh, I've got the uh, D3 FNC mask, uh, which I want to get the knee pads for, so I can get 15% bonus protection from elites. And then Sentry's Call Backpack and Holster for an additional 30% accuracy. Uh, that 30% accuracy works really well with my enhanced PP-19, which is a submachine gun. Uh, I have all the abilities for. So damage against elite and named enemies increased by 10%. Headshot damage increased by 12%. And critical hits uh, increase reload speed by 10% to a maximum of one second, which can be very useful when you're getting fired on. And then my secondary is the SOCOM MK-20 SSR. So critical hits, increased signature skill resources. Uh, first bullet shot out of combat has a 50% chance of uh, resulting in a critical hit. And uh, damage increased by 15% when more than 30 meters away. So I also have some random uh, purple and gold uh, mods on there, as well as some gold mods for all my things that can be modded. And then finally, I have the Shortbow Championship pads. Uh, I haven't found anything that I've liked more than these, although I am looking to potentially replace them. But they have a good amount of armor, uh, some good additional abilities, increased kill XP is nice, the extra health is appreciated, and the fuse time on grenades being reduced is pretty solid. But I am looking to potentially replace those pretty soon. But that's my loadout, but my loadout doesn't matter since we are going to go into some survival. Uh, since I'm on my own, I am going to go PvE. I would recommend doing PvP if you have a squad of two or more because you want someone that's able to watch your back. Uh, that being said, it's not impossible to win on PvP as a single player. However, it can be much more difficult since you have the added difficulty of dealing with other players while taking on the hunters. So, I'm going to go ahead and skip forward to whenever this decides it's ready. Alright, and we are back. So, sorry about that. Had to wait for that to load, and I also had to put some new batteries into my controller so that they don't die during this. Antivirals lost in the dark zone have been located. There's no time to wait. You and a team need to go secure them right now, or someone else will. So you'll notice down at the bottom right of the screen it says loading. That's because I held X to skip. Uh, you want to make sure that you skip the opening cinematic for survival, because if you do, you get like an extra minute added onto your time. Uh, survival is actually a timed mode, which is what makes it nice and also rough uh, so we're starting out in all blue here now I like to take a relatively measured approach to how I approach survival I don't just rush out and hope that I can get the best items or the best weapons by attacking things like helicopter crashes or uh, popular I forget what they're called but uh, like the landmarks I instead prefer to make sure that I can survive long enough to extract. Even if that takes me a little bit more time, you get more points for surviving anyway. So, you'll notice I just crafted myself a hat. Um, in addition to crafting armor in this, you also need to make sure that you craft hats and different clothing in order to keep yourself safe. Because uh, what's going to happen up at the top right, you'll notice that there is a meter that says you are getting cold. So with that... Um, this area is obviously freezing cold, so you need to make sure that you can survive in the harsh, harsh environment of this wasteland. So, one way to do that is to make sure that you have enough warm clothing in order to do so. Uh, I'm pretty sure right now that we're in Kip's Bay. Almost positive, so let's see, we got some items here. Um, there are many different types of items you can get. You can get weapon parts, tools, electronics, things like that that help you with actual crafting. You can get items such as medicine or painkillers to delay your infection. Morning. Okay, we're gonna pop that behind us. Sweet. Went ahead and got a responder mask. So we already got a piece of blue equipment, which is good. Not sure what's going on. Oh, we're in a contaminated zone. So I need to get out of here now. I was like, why am I dying? 
That would make a lot of sense. Okay. Need to make sure I don't do that again. So, there are still a lot of items in there that I would eventually like to get. However, probably not going to happen in the foreseeable future. Instead... Avoid getting murdered by that. Uh, we're going to grab as many items as we can. Uh, you start out with 24 agents inside the dark zone at all times. Um, and then it eventually goes down as people start to die out to the cold, to enemies, things like that. So, you'll notice I just used a couple of items. Um, soda and water help you to be able to find items easier. It makes them kind of glow on your map, making it easier for you to uh, collect things that you need. See, so notice how that's glowing now? And that would actually show me that through walls. Uh, food allows you to regain health. If you're not hungry, you can immediately regain health, and it makes it easier for you to survive. And then medicine delay and painkillers delay your response or reaction to your infection. Uh, upon getting dropped off into this area, you wind up getting infected. It causes you a whole bunch of problems, and if you don't deal with it, you die. So you basically have an hour, and the medicine and painkillers prolong that hour. So we're going to pop back in here. See? Look at that. Missed something. It's good that we check. It's most likely going to be, yep, med kit. Perfect. I had to wind up burning mine earlier, so glad we were able to get that. Uh, one thing that's good to do is to check the tops of buildings. The taller a building is, the better likelihood there's going to be some decent items inside. So, let's go ahead and check and see. And I'm hoping that I can find some weapon parts or something to start constructing weapons, because that will help me a great deal. This should be electronics. Yep, cool electronics. Uh, you start out with basically no equipment. You start with bad, like, green armor. Uh, you have a pistol only. You have none of your abilities that you have normally in the game. And it's up to you to build all these things with the components that you find. So nothing over here. Go ahead and search in here. Some fabric. All right. And we're going to go up a little further and see if we can find some goodies. I'm not used to starting in Kip's Bay, in all honesty. All right, perfect. So we now have an actual weapon, meaning we are much more likely to survive for a while in this game. Uh, we're finding a lot of food and medicine early on, which is fantastic. Honestly, you can't have too many items, and it's one of the reasons I like to play solo, or at most with one other person, is because it maximizes the items that you get. So if I am correct, which I think I am, should be over here. No? I might be thinking of a different building. Most likely am. Alright, so we can go out onto the rooftop if we want, which we will do in just a minute. Uh, for now, let's go ahead... Pop out here, see if there's anything good up here. In core temperature there detected. is. Another med kit. Med kits are useful because they're the only way that you can revive yourself or other people if you're playing at a party. Warning. Or just Your a nice person. Alright, pop another painkiller. Alert. Infection temporarily stabilized. Alright, we are still getting cold incredibly quickly, so it's gonna be up to us to find some good. Equipment. All right, there was clearly another player around here at some point because there are some drops. Uh, let's take the moment while we're relatively safe and plan out our course. So I know there's some good stuff in between. What are we at here? 34th and 36th Avenue. So that's, I think, going to be our target for now. Uh, it's not going to tell you a distance. It's just going to tell you, hey, you can head this way. So as you can see, agent's starting to drop like flies, which is good for us. Honestly, the fewer agents there are, the better, because it's more likely that they will not have looted things, and that gives you more of a chance to increase your own stocks. Now, I would recommend, if possible, trying to find the dead bodies of other agents. If you can do it quickly enough, you can actually recover their items. Okay, needed to get warm. Boop, 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 boop. Temperature detected. I don't know what is going on, but we're going to sneak inside this building. 
Should hopefully be relatively safe. Good, no one's gotten in here yet. Had to pop a med kit, which I'm not thrilled with, but you know what? I saw one back there anyway, and we can always craft more if we need. I don't see where this guy is. There he goes. So we'll just stay safe in here for now. Moving on up. Hopefully this area has not been looted yet. And finding a lot of food and supplies, which is good, but I really need to start finding some clothing and uh, some materials like this. Fabric, good. Oh god, that is a gold enemy, so we are not dealing with that. Not at all about to deal with that. We're gonna pop a medicine. Some people like to save theirs. I like to pop mine immediately, as there's no real function to saving it. The longer you put off dying with the infection, the better, and it allows you to also... Uh... It allows you to also collect more medicines, so <clears throat> there's no chance that you're going to be full up when you run across some. So, Good news is it looks like this area is relatively empty. Ouch. I'm going to bleed out a little bit here, probably. Medkit. Water, I'll take it. Good news is we're coming back to life, slowly but surely. And no longer bleeding. Good. So, here we go. Nice. Got some shoes. And we now have greater cold resistance. As soon as this wants to... There we go. Alright, so, not bad. Nothing great so far. Not gonna lie. Kinda hoping we can find a couple apartment buildings. Increased. As you'll notice, we're at negative four. We started out at negative two cold resistance, so we've gone up two from finding those nice boots. Again, the higher the boot rating or the clothing rating, the more chance that it will provide you with solid cold protection. There's another purple enemy. Jesus, we are near all the strong enemies right now. Veterans, elites, not about it. So we're gonna continue running, 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 running everywhere. We're gonna equip that. All right, so we have minus seven cold protection now, so as long as it's minus seven or warmer, we'll be okay. And... I don't care that that happened, because now I'm inside a building where I can actually defend myself a little bit, as well as get some sweet items. Commando pack, I'll take it. And I can easily take down these guys. pop some food. It would help if I could aim this a little better. Play too long in regular modes and you get used to your targeting reticles. There we go, one down. There we go. Okay, so we'll grab that. Looks like we got another weapon of the type we already have. I like to have different types of weapons because you have a limited supply of ammo. Need to kill enemies to get it. Whoop. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Right, so we're gonna hit him with a grenade. That's going to give us access to a hybrid mask. 
I don't like it's going to lower my protection a little bit, so I need to find something with some more stamina. But, you know what? Purple equipment is purple equipment for right now. And I will not question it. Jesus, how many enemies are over here? So, unfortunately, I have gone down. Luckily, I have the means to save myself. Whoop. We kind of walked into an enemy den right here, which is not good. And I know he's technically kind of helping us right now, but we are going to kill that red guy. Because I'd rather have one enemy to deal with than two. Let's see if we can scare him out there. There we go. Alright, hopefully we have now gotten rid of all of the enemies. Uh, we are much weaker off than we need to be. Which is not good, but you know what? We will survive. A little more armor. We're now going to drink. And eat. If this thing will activate. There we go. Alright, good news is, less thirsty, less hungry. Finding more items. Below optimal levels. I'm gonna stay with the pistol for now until I can maybe find some stronger stuff. Or some different weapons. Let's see. Painkillers, I'll take those. Nothing in the truck. Warning. Infection detected. So this is good for us right here. As you can see, there are a lot of items around for us to get. Uh, we're going to loot the item. We can't use it, and we can't break it down or pass it to anyone else, but we're going to take it anyway. Because, again, our goal is to get out alive. If I were playing with other people, I would share it with them, but since I'm not, I have no desire right now to really help anyone else potentially make my life more difficult in the future. And once we get, Detecting hopefully, into the dark zone, I will tell you more about that. Increased. See how we get in there. I think that's probably from a different side. Yeah, it's going to be from a different side. So we're at negative 10 cold protection, which is pretty solid for right now, especially this early. So let's see what we got. Hey, purple vest. I will take that all day. Eventually, if you have the opportunity, you want to try and craft... Um, armors and materials that are going to give you the bonuses you want. I usually like to go into stamina and firepower, as I find they are both very helpful, although I'm sure there are other people out there that would disagree, say go into skill power. You know, to each their own. Depends on how you play the game. So, went ahead and looted this area, and there's still stuff on the other side there, so we're going to go find out where that is. Body temperature dropping below normal right. levels. More electronics, and I think what we're going to do now I am going to... Boo boo. There we go. Okay, there are multiple enemies, so we are going to... Avoid pissing them off. I'm actually kind of upset that I... There we go. Hopefully some ammo. Yes, got some ammo and some weapon parts. Alright, so we can craft some other stuff. I like to craft a shotgun early on, especially since you run into more weak enemies like uh, red health bar enemies. It makes them relatively easy to take down in one or two shots and can give you some nice uh, advantages when dealing with a crowd. So, I think what we're going to do is we're going to head back briefly to this area over here. Down to 14 agents. And we are going to look for a... 
cool. Uh, we are going to look for a safe house. Safe houses, or whatever you want to call them, are relatively common. And they allow you to craft items. So I'm going to need to come back for that in a little bit. What are you? Sweet. Purple holster. We're actually doing great on finding purple items. This is saving me a lot of crafting materials right now, which I deeply appreciate. All right, more fabric. You'll also notice, as with the regular game, different color indicates different rarity or usefulness. So the green fabric, weapon parts, etc., will allow you to craft more uh, green items. Same thing with blue, purple, or I'm sorry, blue and high end. over there. There's a couple enemies over there, actually. So we are going to... Alright, see? A good thing to do in this mode is to scope out your enemies. Don't just go in guns blazing and say, I'm gonna murder you! Because that will end up with you yourself getting murdered. Um, you can actually check and see whether or not enemies are red or elite or veteran. Uh, so an agent made it to the dark zone, which is, you know, great for them. Go you guys. Uh, but we are going to take our time, not do anything stupid here. Get rid of that for now. Uh, get rid of pack. Get rid of the holster. And let's see, we get critical hit chance up. Nice. And body armor. So if you deconstruct your items, you wind up getting materials you can use to craft stuff later. Um, I'm not going to rush into the dark zone, even though, oh, wow, that's probably why I had so many rough enemies, is that I am really close to it. Instead, I'm going to seek out, hopefully, seek out, guess not, uh, I'm actually going to head south then, there we go, to a hideout, or a safe house. Um, if you rush into the dark zone, you have the best chance of finding a lot of the high-level items, like, um... Lots of division tech, lots of undiscovered um, weapon parts, electronics tools, things like that. Once again, though, there are plenty of things out here on the outskirts that you can get, and especially when you get close to the Dark Zone, like we are now, you can actually find a lot of good materials, some blue, some purple, that you can use to help you out in the Dark Zone. For now, this looks like a landmark. So I'm not going to mess with that. Instead, I'm going to grab some electronics. In fact, when you get close enough to the Dark Zone, I even tend to find the occasional high-end tool, weapon part, electronic, things like that. So don't count it out just because it's not the Dark Zone. See? Look at that. High-end fabric. Ooh. And unfortunately, we're involved in a turf war. Whoop. So we're going to back it up. I'm gonna make sure I have my actual gun equipped. I do. I'm gonna make sure I am hidden. Get down, maybe? No. It's not. All right. They haven't seen me, which is good. It's gonna allow me to sneak behind here, take this guy out, and we might head into that grocery store actually. See what's going on in there. Almost got injured on that one. Nice job of avoiding. Lots of fabric, so I'm going to be able to craft as much as I need. Okay, this is where we need to run away a little bit. Live to fight another day. I need to make sure that I can take these on. of core body temperature. Threat of hypothermia increased. On my terms. For example, uh, one of the enemies there has a shotgun. If you're not aware what a shotgun is, um, you're probably playing the wrong game series. So yeah, we are going to avoid that like the plague, and I am going to find another way to get into this area. So let me come up here, 
Should be relatively safe in this apartment complex. Surprising lack of looting that has happened. I am really, really surprised. There we go. Purple gloves. Uh, we're going to stay up here in this hallway for just a sec. We're at negative 14 cold protection, so we're really doing pretty well. Um, and I'm going to see where that hideout is. It is really close to us. We just need to get past it. Uh, life expectancy. We're still at 50 minutes, so we still have 50 minutes before we die of infection. Which is, again, great. Core body temperature drop. Alright, we'll head up here. We'll see if there's anything worthwhile. Usually these rooftops have a few enemies and a couple good items. Let's hope that holds true. I'm gonna pop a soda. An energy bar. So, show me the good stuff. Unless this has already been looted, in which case, you know, not a big deal. We've actually found quite a few unlooted areas already, so I'm not too worried. Ouch. Alright, well, we'll be alright. Looks like materials from this area have already been taken, so... You know what, let's do this. That right there. Ooh, it appears there's something inside this building. I think this is actually where we just were with the enemies, so... Yep, I see something inside there that I'm going to try and get. In the meantime... Nope, that is a box. Yep, this is where we just were. I don't see any of those enemies. We are going to take that med kit, though, because that will be incredibly useful. We're going to check this out. We'll take that. We are going to attempt to run over Body temperature dropping below to the safe levels. house. This is probably the longest I've ever gone uh, without getting to a safe house. Alright, All right. so inside, nice and safe. So you're taking a drink of coffee there so I can stay nice and energetic for you. And let's go ahead and... See what we can do. We can already craft a lot of high-end stuff. Let's see. Weapon parts. Craft some tools. Some fabric. Some electronics. Alright. So the basics you need to get are a virus filter. You need a virus filter to enter the dark zone. Uh, it's recommended that you get an advanced virus filter. Yeah, I got enough to do that. Um, I'll save this for now. We can get med kits and stuff later. Blue fabric, I'm okay using some stuff up to get us upgraded a little better. Um, let's see, hang on. 12 to 2, military trucking pants, yeah. We're gonna go warmer pants. Don't need to upgrade the boots. One warmer is not gonna do us much good. Um, and I am going to upgrade our hat. As long as you're at around negative 16 or negative 17 cold resistance, once you enter the dark zone, you'll actually be in a good position. I'm an idiot and forgot to equip these, so there we go. I may not look the prettiest, but I get the job done, let me tell you. Hey, look at that. I kind of match. Scarf and shoes. Okay. So now we can figure out what we need to create. Um, okay, yeah, I'm gonna break down this into a weapon part. Save that responder mask for now. Obviously getting rid of these. Our DPS isn't great. We need to build knee pads. Let's see. It's one reason you save some electronics. Uh, we're going to equip those. And let's see, I want to build some skills. I would recommend 
pulse. It's always good to know where your enemies are and what areas you can avoid. And I'm going to build, much as that pains me to do, a turret, which is going to make my life a little easier. And not going to build that for now. Could build some weapon mods. I might do that soon. For now, we have enough to build... Good, both of these. I'm going to build an extra med kit just because I have the materials, as well as an additional med pit, med pit, med kit pouch that will allow me to hold an additional med kit. All right, let's see what else we have. Purple vest. We could upgrade our backpack. Holster's already purple, and these are purple. Gloves are purple. Mask is purple. Uh, so yeah, we're going to upgrade our vest, it looks like. Show me stamina. Morning. Yes, thank you. Infection progressing. Additional stability and bleed resistance. Thank you. Wanted to be a bit more survivable. All right. Uh, I need to find some more weapon parts immediately. That will make my life significantly easier, so let's see. We're going to head down here. I'm not messing with the unconscious player. Death time 43 minutes. Eh. Yeah, I'm not going to mess with the unconscious players right now because they're most likely guarded by veteran level enemies. And your boy's not in the mood to deal with that. So more tools. Perfect. I'm going to need tools. I like when this game gives me what I need. Uh, now show me some weapon parts and we'll be good. I'm at negative 18, so as you'll notice, my meter's not going down nearly as much as it was when I first started. Boom, look at that. Sweet dodge skills, bro. Purple weapon. Hey, There we go. Please tell me you were a different type of weapon. You are... No, you're not. Alright, so... Uh, I'm gonna... There we go. So I have two submachine guns. Not good. That dude's gonna be pissed that I just stole that item. And we're gonna head down here. And I'm gonna go towards... Don't hurt, don't hurt. That's gonna hurt. Alright, good news is, food, not a problem. And before I forget again, while I have a half second to myself, I'm going to assign my skills. So now that I've created these, I can use them Whoop. to identify enemies. The turtle distracts some enemies, which is good. I will take all. Certainly take all. Destroy that turret. So those were the enemies that we had seen before, and I'm assuming the other guy that we just ran past probably experienced them as well. Uh, what time are we at? 42? Not bad. As soon as I hit down to about 30 minutes, I'll go into the dark zone. Uh, I like to give myself around 20 or 30 minutes inside the dark zone to get everything I need, collect my antivirals, craft a flare gun, and try and leave. But for now, we're actually doing a little bit better than average, at least for my playthroughs. So, no reason to fret. And it looks like that other guy that we passed didn't explore too much. So, also good for us. So, a nice way to avoid having to roll inside like a commando is to just shoot the bombs when you hear them. Most of the bombs for these buildings will be right inside one of the door frames. So either right there or right there. And this building should have something around the side over here. Unless it's been picked. Nope. Excellent. Finally. So. We are going to equip that. And then in our first slot, which one's more powerful? This is slightly less powerful. Killing a target increases skill power. Weapon damage is increased after using a skill. Uh, we don't have either of the requirements for this, but this is armor destruction is increased 
and reloading. All right, so we're going to work on getting a little bit more stamina, and that's going to be the weapon that we use. But for now, we could enter the dark zone. I'm going to give it a little more time, collect a little bit more like food, equipment, things like that. Really duck myself out. And then we'll be on our way. That's weird. There we go. I was like, I knew there had to be something. Take the energy bar. There's something outside this window that I'm going to grab. More tools. I have all the tools I need. Like, I am flush with tools. Could use some electronics, though. Beautiful. Three blue electronics will do me a world of good. Um, at this point, we're warm enough that we can stay outside without suffering any cold damage. And... Let's see what we want to do. I'm actually going to enter the underground. Uh, the sewers in this game can be a excellent place to find a lot of items, especially like tools, electronics, things like that, as well as some enemies to get some items off of. So I'd highly recommend, if you have the opportunity, give it a look-see. A lot of unexplored areas. Take that. What's our current backpack look like? Responder. Shooter. Nah, I'm not willing to drop my defense down that low. Oh, that's my secondary slot. Uh, we already have a submachine gun, so I'm going to save that. And... You know, we'll equip this for now. Why not? Take advantage of the buffs while we got them. Go ahead and trigger that. Up here we should have painkillers. Medicine! I will take medicine. I prefer medicine. That is good. That is good. Cool. No threats in the area. That's why I like to run Pulse, in addition to the extra critical hit and critical damage. Um, I prefer to know where my enemies are at. Alright, we're going to give this underground a try, and then after that we're going to tackle the Dark Zone. So again, you can absolutely run in quick. And, I mean, that's a valid method. The sooner you get to the Dark Zone, and the sooner you get close to the Dark Zone, the more likely chance that you will find what you need. Uh, this area looks like it's been looted, so we'll go only a little bit in. Kind of missed a little bit. And if you get in quickly, you can actually find a lot of resources before other people. But, again, that's kind of a gamble. You risk getting murdered more quickly because you don't have a lot of health or armor or some good weapons. And, again, that's not the kind of way I like to play. You all know me by now. I'm a little bit more defensive. Or maybe you don't know me by now. Hi, I'm Bowtie. I play this game defensively. No threats found. All right, so likely whoever came in here wasn't really looking for like sodas, medkits, things like that. They were most likely just grabbing the good items and scramming. Uh, I'll do that. Yep, took that. So this area has definitely been looted. You want to try to get to the undergrounds quickly if you're going to use them. Uh, we're down to nine agents. Found two threats. And this lets you actually see where the threats are located. So we got one up there. There's something right above us. So we're going to try and find where that is and get that. Also, the, uh, the good thing about Pulse is that it lets you see the color of the enemy. So, for example, we know that that is a gold enemy. And hence, not someone we want to really mess with unless we're feeling very sure of ourselves. Hello, other human. In case you're wondering, the bottom area there is looted. Well, you can have that, because I'm going to take this. And away we go, and before we leave, I will get... more fabric! Huzzah! 
before we negative 21 that's pretty chilly uh, before we go up too far let me map it up I'm actually gonna go find this person's body see if I can retrieve anything useful from it then we'll head to a safe house craft some stuff if we need and we'll get into the diggity dark zone This has most likely been looted. Huh, I guess not. In that case... Pop a soda. Reduce that thirst, because you know we so thirsty. And... See if there's anything up here worth getting. Probs not, but worth a shot. And no, yeah, this has already been looted. So we're going to head back down, actually. And I'm going to go find that unconscious player, see if I can take their stuff. Again, my solo success rate is pretty decent, uh, at least in terms of making Dark Zone and getting a few containers. Uh, I've only beaten the Hunters a few times. Then again, I haven't played a ton of survival. So, um, take that as you will with all my advice. But I have a pretty good system for at least getting myself to the dark zone and making sure that I walk away with a couple of caches full of items. Most likely this has been looted. This is a nice place to grab a bunch of medical supplies. I'll take another med kit. Thank you, person that had to leave it behind due to space issues. And, hello, something over there. Whatever could you be? That's been taken, so we're going to go next door. See if we can find something Body good. Dropping below normal levels. Found one threat, nothing major. There is going to be something back here, though. And it's a barrel. So there's our threat. It's a red enemy. We can take care of them. And I'm actually going to do some work with the shotgun. Don't know where they went. Uh, we'll head in here. I hear a bomb, so it's very likely that there's still some good stuff in here. Ouch. That'll happen. Setting self on fire. Setting self on fire. <sighs> okay. A little more cold protection. Nothing else up here. So I should be able to see pretty soon where our downed amigo is. Oh no, his body finally disappeared. I was just a little too late in trying to get to him. That can happen if you take too much time, people will disappear. Um, you can revive other players if you want, but... Oh, never mind. Still down on the street. Um, you can revive other players. You don't have to. And I occasionally will. I might be nice sometimes and do it, but... Yeah, so they've been gone too long. Someone either already got their stuff or their stuff disappeared. But if you find other players fast enough, you can actually take their items and supplies, which is pretty sweet. All right, I'm going to eat candy bar, get my health back up. And I think we're just about ready. I'm going to head into this hideout very, very quickly. Drop in core temperature detected. And after that, we'll head into the dark zone. Uh, I think for the meantime, let me Alert. slow that infection, infection down. Halted. See, you gotta be crafty where you're looking. 
That's why I always try to find water whenever I can. Water or soda, because it's really easy to pass up those really easy tool chests, electronics containers, things like that, when you're not actively looking for them. Alright, let's go ahead and craft some stuff. Head on in. Uh, my favorite place to start, I'd have to say, is probably Gramercy or the Flatiron District. I tend to do the best when I start in those areas, because I know there's certain things around that I can use to my advantage. Uh, more weapon parts. More weapon parts! These are just... Oh, these do require weapon parts. These just require tools. So I think what we'll do is... Rate of fire. Um, trying to think what we'll use. I'll probably use a light machine gun in all honesty, later on. So what am I going to want? Reduce threat, and accuracy, stability. Go vertical grip. So better range, more stability. go for a heavy magazine spring. A spring, a spring, a marvelous thing. A critical hit, rate of fire. We're going to craft a scope while we can. And I'm going to spend some time crafting some high end, because we'll need those once we get in. Still got enough fabric to do what we need there. Uh, let's see. Let's take a look at our inventory here. Let's see, I dismantle this. Actually, uh, nope. Gonna equip this. I know I'm getting rid of some good skills, but sue me. Deal with it. Uh, nano composite pads gone. Graphene pads gone. All right. These are the final crafts, and then we're heading into the dark zone. Really all I need is just another weapon part and more tools. Eh. Eh. Screw it. We'll find enough good stuff, most likely. Let's see. Yeah. So, let me quickly mod... Okay, DPS up. Better optimal range and stability, and heavy magazine spring. All right. So nothing amazing for right now, but again, until we get into the dark zone, don't really need too much amazing. Let's hop on in. Core temperature is deep below optimal levels. Well, good for my core temperature. Down to seven agents remaining. Good for me. Apparently they're not able to hang in this survival game. They don't have these elite survival skills that I do. So it's clear that someone else lit this fire because this is not normally lit. And I guess we're just going to head right in. And we're near a landmark, which I assume has probably been taken Core care of already. Drop. And I see a supply cache inside. 
Now let's enter the dark zone. Warning. Infection progressing. So good news is we already have all of our necessary upgrades for like the virus filter, things like that. So we can literally just focus on getting what we need to craft a flare gun, getting materials that we'll need to keep ourselves alive in a fight. And then it's time to boss it up. So no threats found. I'm assuming they've raided this. I am correct in my assumption. <laughs> As was to be expected. <laughs> Uh, let's hope that they did not have a great attention to detail. Uh, one thing we are going to do is we are going to locate the antivirals. So, that waypoint will show me the way to my antiviral load. I need to get those in order to successfully extract. Meaning, I get the most out of my extraction. Uh, it also gives you a bonus to points and makes it more likely to move you up to the next skill level in your survival rating. Alright, pop this. No threats. And again, it's a little bit warmer inside the dark zone. That's why I say, you know, once you get to around 17, 16 even, on your dark zone rating, don't even worry about the clothing anymore. Because literally, you will survive outside pretty much indefinitely. So most likely these are going to be in an enemy patrolled area. Threats found two. So I'm going to kill them in the hopes that they'll give me some sweet items. Long range shotgun. Ba -ba -ba -da -ba -da. And it's a gear cache. Darn. At this point, I'm hoping for things like weapon parts, um, equipment items, so I'm actually looking for a lot of purple, if anything. Ooh, weapon parts. Hello. So, more weapon parts, more tools, and more fabric will make me happy. Yep, as I said, here's where things start to get real. So, 10 threats. My antivirals are probably right up here in this store. So, now comes the difficult task of grabbing these without being spotted by the numerous elite enemies waiting inside. Possible, yes. Easy, no. Do, do, do. Man, I have all of the tools so many tools. I have the most tools. Look at my tools. Okay, so they're not in here, actually, which is good for me. Bad news is, there are enemies down here. <sighs> this would be a good time to have a marksman rifle. Take that medicine. Alert. So we got about a half hour before I die. Not great for me, but we can make it work. Alright, scanning. Threats found seven. So I think we're going to take this group right here. Try and kill them. And we're going to throw the turret. Not there. Not where I needed to throw that. Darn it, darn it, darn it. Alright, 
So, luckily, lots of medkits. That's why I do this, so I can make up for my stupidity. Nice. Hit himself. Oop. Don't like that I'm being hit from somewhere I can't see. item drop really take the weapon parts those are at least useful so I should have enough to craft another purple weapon right now I'll probably save up for gold if I'm being honest simply because gold weapon parts will do more for me in order to extract having high-end weapons is not required but helps greatly in extracting No threats? Good. This is how we do it, people. Slowly and strategically. Doo -doo -doo. And another quick search. We got some threats up top. Alright, here's my waypoint marker, so my antivirals are up there somewhere. I need to figure out how to get up. Hmm. <laughs> Pop the soda there. There we go. Sometimes the controls are finicky on that, but want to make sure I'm not missing any easy items around here. Yeah, we're going to have to come this way. see them. That's not good for me, but... Come on, pop out. Yeah, that's why I like to run Pulse Turret. Makes people easy to find, and... Turret does a nice job of distracting so I don't get murdered. Especially since I play like an idiot sometimes. Alright, food, good for us. Warning. Infection levels increasing. Alright, need to find a way up there. Probably be around this way. Do a little scan. Hey, look at that, more threats. This is why you search. How do I get up there? This is gonna upset me. This episode of me running around until I eventually die. Warning. Infection All right, 28 minutes. Starting to get a little less patient now in finding this. This is not 
going to be the way to it, but might at least help me find it. Yep, there we go. So if I'm correct, there are a few enemies over here I've extracted near here before. Okay, again, don't need that, but we'll take it. Um, nothing down there. Five turrets. Water. And, all right, they've gotta be close. They are right over there. Perfect. So, uh, for doing these, you get an extra five or 600 points added onto your score. Plus, you get the division tech you need to craft your flare gun. So, first and foremost, that's what we're gonna be doing. Uh, I want to go to a safe house slash hideout. There's one perfectly close to us, which we're gonna use. It's right back the way we came. Zip. around here, hop in this way. All right, crafting area here. So let's take a look at what we can get. Uh, don't have enough weapon parts yet, but we can hopefully, yep. We have only one division tech, so we're not going to use anything for that. We have enough to craft our flare gun, which you also get points for crafting. So I would recommend getting the virus filter, advanced virus filter, flare gun. Huh. There we go. Other med kit. Incoming for evac right now. Oh, someone has apparently called an evac. That is in certainly a choice that they can make. You know, you do what you gotta do. Uh, vest. I think vest might be my best option. Either vest or... Not knee pads. Holster. Vest. Yeah, we're gonna go vest. All right, resistance to all, extra health, extra ammo capacity. Perfect. That is actually lovely. All right, we've got about 10 minutes, six agents remaining. Um, I have more than 10 minutes, I have 25 minutes, but I have about 10 minutes to go around and collect materials that might be helpful to me. So, I'm gonna start hitting up some landmarks. Also, this is probably a really bad time, but I have to go to the bathroom. Oh well, guess I'm holding it for 25 minutes. So the station is that way, we're gonna head that way. Hopefully we'll encounter some enemies along the way that will provide us with everything we need to be successful here. I need more weapon parts, I need a high-end weapon that is honestly not negotiable for me unless it really gets down to the wire. So it's pretty much not negotiable. Barely negotiable. Semi-negotiable. So we got some enemies back here we can take care of if we'd like. I think that's what we're gonna do. 60 seconds to go. Thank you. 
is I can outdo him and that will draw their attention long enough for me to escape didn't see that guy behind yes I know not a good idea to use a shotgun at long range don't judge me I'm out of weapon parts perfect and oh show me a purple weapon uh, rapid assault holster I will take it medicine Med kit. Perfect. There we go. Got the med kit back that we just used. Kuna Matata. Yep, I have the feeling that no hard feelings, no pun intended, uh, met his maker. I didn't get to see, but I assume it was probably at the hands of a hunter. Seal gear cache. Why not? Threats found. One, two. Current filter, contamination safe. So I believe you need the advanced filter to come down into these subways right here. I believe that is what you need. Oh baby you, you got what I need. Why am I on fire? Alright. So as you can see, we can handle elite enemies and veteran enemies. Getting this bird back to the it's just a matter of whether or not it's always the smartest idea. I have threats found. We're going to reduce our thirst here and try and find some more items. There's several below us, so it looks like we're going deeper down into the subway. Weapon? I don't need any more sealed gear caches, as can be indicated. Moss items, por favor. Good news is we are getting things from killing these enemies. So even though it's not necessarily what we want or need at the time, still getting things that are helpful. There we go. Sometimes you gotta find the right way into the room, and bam, more tools. Tools are necessary, especially when you get to the dark zone, to help you craft not only the uh, flare gun, but also to help you get access to the good, like high-end level. Warning. Infection levels increasing. Um, Weapon mods. Weapon? I don't need a weapons cache. I need an actual weapon. What the hell was that? Okay. Quickly gonna hide. Getting rid of gear, gear. 
mods, weapons, weapons. All right, and I'm gonna be grabbing the weapons mods here. Thank you. Nope. Not dealing with that. All you. Thank you. You know I'm thirsty. Not right now, though. No threats found, that's good news for us. Those should be weapon parts. They are. That is one thing I wish, instead of just finding sealed gear caches in here, that it was easier to find actual weapons. Of course, that would probably make survival just a bit too easy, so I get having to scavenge and scour every part of this map for weapon parts. Alright, I should hopefully have enough to craft some more stuff around here. Ooh. Hello, how many do we have? I see one. Just one. Shotgun's not great, and I am going to replace it eventually with a whoop. Yeah, that's right. Give me your items. There we go. So we finally got a marksman rifle, which I might wind up just disassembling for parts, if I'm being honest. I got more than enough ammo on this bad boy. What you looking at, fool? Where you at? Threats found too. I don't see them. Did I really kill the other guy? Oh, good for me. I am so smart. I am so smart. S M R T. I mean S M A R T. Smarty smart smart. All right. Hide out. Marksman ammo. Hide out this way. This is one extraction site you can use. Um, 
I usually use the DZO2 parking garage as my extraction. I found that it's relatively easy to use, plus there's a lot of spots you can hide to run away from your hunter. Uh, I do depend on pulse and turret. Although I have seen people do like pulse and uh, seeker mine, which is also relatively effective because the seeker mines seek out the hunters. The biggest thing about the hunters, which are the kind of bosses for this, is that they have the ability to heal themselves, which means if you don't kill them quickly, they can be a real pain. They also have the ability to use not only your skills in the same way, but uh, they can use things like support stations on each other, and they seem to have a near endless supply of ways to just mess with you. Ooh, I thought that Santa Claus was an enemy, and I was just like, get ready to die. So, let's see what we got here. Alright, I got 14 minutes left. It looks like we are going to make our push. So, I might not be successful. But that just adds to the fun. Alright, where is our crafting station? Can't see with this bright kitchen light. There we go. All right. Really? Okay. Weapon parts, tools. Rapid assault holster. Actually worse. Grab the salt vest. Yeah, we're not depending on the responder mask. And one, 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 one. Cool. Oh, I forgot. I need Division Tech to create these, don't I? Well, I know the spots to get Division Tech, but will I be successful in getting that? That is the question. In the event that I won't be, I think instead I'm just going to mod out my gun incredibly highly. So, reload speed. I know I said it was a non-issue, but I can't afford to go grab Division Tech right now. And hang on, I have to move closer to my screen to see what this says with that light. Warning. Infection is approaching lethal levels.
Alright, it looks like this is the loadout we're going with. Uh, I'm not thrilled about it, but again, I don't have time to look for all these weapon parts. Or not weapon parts, but... Oh, that's what I'm looking for. I uh, don't have time to look for... Division Tech. So we're going to do that. We got all gold mods at least. And then, as a backup... going. <laughs> and let's see if we have enough to make anything else. Probably not. Go ahead and create a firearm mod. Sweet, I'll take that. Cool, so our DPS is up, looking better. We're in severe septic shock, let's do it. All or nothing, do not miss your chance to blow. This opportunity comes once in a lifetime. You better lose yourself in the music, the moment, chew on it. So we have a very limited amount of time to get there safely and to extract. It's going to take a couple minutes to extract, so we're likely going to make it out, if we make it out, with about two, three minutes left. I also like to live dangerously. Medkit? Medkit! Perfect. Alright, maxed out on medkits. We got, let's see what kind of grenades. Incendiary, shock, frag. I'm going to try and set them on fire. So we got a few grenades. Alright, wish me luck, because this is going to suck pretty badly. I know some people cheese this by uh, sniping from across. That doesn't work well for me. I'm not great with that, so. As I am being disrupted. Come on, come on, get off disrupt, get off disrupt. Alright. There is my hunter. Probably done a slightly better sight, but you know what, I'll take it. So now I have at least a little bit of height advantage on him. Darth found four. Whoa. That was a seeker mine, I believe. Let's 
let's uh, let's have me bleed less, shall we? I'm gonna remove the turrets so I can regen it faster. Sixty seconds to go. I don't see him, which is not good. Not looking good for me, sadly. So we're gonna increase that damage. I'm gonna throw one out here, and I'm actually going to throw a grenade over here, forcing him to retreat. Come on, you saw that. He was almost dead. Frag's going out. Alright, it's a shock. Alright. This is why you want those gold weapons. So I have three minutes to kill him and extract. See, look at that. Hate it. Hate, 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 hate. Got him. We'll be landing fast. All right. Let's do this. We're in the air in 30 seconds. All right. That was stressful. We did it. That, ladies and gentlemen, is how you survive survival. So again, you can do that without gold weapons. I don't recommend it. It is a little bit more difficult. But as you can see, we did pretty well. Got to rank four with a score of 79.45. Not amazing. Uh, the best you can do is rank five. I've never gotten rank five. Uh, apparently, I'm the third person to extract. Woo! Uh, but we got points for never being unconscious uh, for defeating the hunter. Uh, we had a gear score of... 127, not great, but not bad. Uh, got points for having med kits, food, and drinks, so if you have stuff left over, you get a few points for that. Survived for an hour and 25 minutes. I think that's pretty impressive. Uh, and hunger score, we had 93%. Disease score, 4%. That's not great. And you get a lot of points for cold protection. That's why I recommend getting down to like at least 17 or 18, or between like 16 and 18, because you get good score. And you don't waste all your fabric. Uh, we killed 45 enemies. And we did all these specific mission requirements. So that is 
survival. And as you can see, I have a lot of stuff I have to go through, so for now, I'm going to call that an episode. Um, if you're interested in seeing me play The Division anymore, whether it's regular missions or trying to do incursions, I don't do many of them, but I could try, or if you want to even see more survival, feel free to let me know in this video. Otherwise, I hope you all enjoyed this episode of The Division Survival. Have a great day, and stay fly.